Hello everyone, Genesis Rider here with another Genesis Clips video. And I'd like to start this video off that by saying that this is going to be a different video from what's normal. I will be only showing you a part, uh, literally 3 minutes and 54 seconds of a big team battle vortex game as I call down my railgun off my spawn. I just died, this is a fresh life. I end up getting 17 kills in a row without dying. And I just wanted to show you guys what I do here. But during this first slow moment of the clip, I'd like to um, point out something. Um, a lot of big team battle gameplays that I've been getting recently have these certain specific sections of the film, like you're going to see right here, that are far more interesting than the beginning or ends of the film. So this film actually, this whole game actually went on for like 11 to 12 minutes, but you're only seeing a third of that with uh, 3 minutes and 40, 54 seconds of gameplay here. So I wanted to let you guys know that I'm very well maybe taking out sections of a whole big team battle game, and I hope that will be more interesting for you than just watching the entire game. Now, there are gameplays, of course, where it's a capture the flag game, and you really do want to see each flag cap and how we push, and you do want to see the entire film. But in especially Slayer games, I may just take out these clips of individual brilliance um, and show them to you guys. Um, also, at the end of my films, and this is just a tip for you guys, I, I won't ever say this again, so listen up. Um, I will have details on future videos that you can vote on if you want to have see me make another video or um, make a specific type of video. Right here, I do a really good job of getting away with the buster pack, but wait till the end of this video to vote on that, what video you want me to create next. So right here, I get up the Mantis flaming with my railgun, and uh, the railgun's really underestimated against uh, enemy vehicles. I'll just say that much, especially ghosts. Uh, if you can get two or three shots of railguns at a ghost, it's amazing what it can do. Um, I wouldn't go head on against a vehicle that's fully has a full shield and full health, but if the vehicle's weak whatsoever, it, the railgun's an amazing job. Now right here, I want you to notice I have no incineration cannon ammo, and I have only one. Uh, shot of railgun. So if I miss this shot on this guy, which I do, I have to thrust your pack in double melee, which is exactly what I do here. Absolutely embarrassing the enemy player. Here's where just the gameplay surpasses to another level. Um, I end up dodging an enemy sniper shot and just using the railgun really effectively to take out the enemy beam rifle player. So the enemy player dropped the beam rifle on the ground. I'm still keeping that in mind as I get a whiff railgun shot in that guy. This grenade picks up a um, lowering the shield of this player as I get the headshot. I kill this guy for the triple kill, amazing shots, grab the beam rifle, get the overkill snapshot, and then the headshot snapshot kill tacular. Get away with my thrust attack behind this rock. I'm going to try to duck down into this cave system, which very few people know about on Vortex. Call down my speed boost. Back up here because there's a bunch of red dots. Get an insane uh, snapshot. Almost tried to snapshot that second player, but didn't. Um, I would like to point out here briefly that this enemy player following me does have a speed boost, which I didn't know until I watched the film. Just kind of an interesting thing to point out. I have red dots all over me, so I decide to escape with my thruster pack plus speed boost. Amazing use of that here as I get away. And this is where running away really does, or, or baiting the enemy player towards you, really does work out. As you can see, I get some really nice snapshots um, with the beam rifle. Just absolutely dominating the enemy team with an overkill for the running riot. And um, I do end up killing this player I have right here on my radar. However, I'd like to point out something where when I approach this enemy mantis, as you see the enemy player got into our mantis, there's not much I can do about that as you see that mantis on my radar. I'm going to run around here, um, take this player out as well, use the push attack amazingly well. Um, push the pack behind that little wall there, you see he, he wasn't able to connect those headshots because I was behind that wall. Then again, another speed boost called down. Now this is where I'm just going to let the film play and, sh and then I'm going to back up and show you my thought mentality and what I do here. Because the average player is going to have no idea how I, how I did this. You may be able to see kind of how I did it, but... Um, really amazing game plan me, or by me right here. So, as you can tell, I'm going to back up here as I call down this speed boost. What I'm going to do here is fake the enemy mantis out, and this is so quick that very few people uh, notice this. This uh, Gosser Warthog is running this opposite direction. So I know that this mantis, since it's not very fast, it's going to stop firing at this enemy Warthog 
and it's going to go this way to the right. And so what I want to do is I don't want to I don't want to run around this way too much. I want to fake the enemy mantis out just like this warthog is doing. I'm going to I want to run this way, acting like I'm going to go this way on my radar, not like I'm going to come around here, which is exactly what I do. I fire two shots into the mantis, then back up behind cover, and then sprint out. And what I want you to notice here is how quickly I get close to the enemy mantis. You want to get really, really, really close. And because I have a speed boost, I can do this. If you don't have a speed boost, this is not impossible to do. But as soon as the mantis goes into the stomp animation, its right leg is going to lift up. Okay, like this. And I see that on, on my HUD, on my first person viewpoint, as I pass him. So I'm going to get behind him. If you're behind the mantis when it stomps, then it, the uh, force field effect does not kill you or damage you really at all. As you can see, I rush forward here and it does no damage to my shield whatsoever. I get behind the enemy mantis, but as you can see, the mantis is locked into this stomp animation. Sorry for the blurriness. And that's because I have a speed boost. But um, it's the same as when you're assassinating someone. You're locked into an animation for a specific period of time. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to take advantage of that. And another thing I'd like to point out is that it doesn't really matter whether the top body of the mantis is facing. That top body of the mantis could be facing this way, and it really wouldn't matter because the legs, I'm behind the legs, and that's what really matters. You can hijack the mantis if you're behind its legs, not necessarily if you're behind its top rotating, swiveling body. So right here, I'm going to go into the back, hijack the mantis. The, the guy who's driving the mantis has the survivor armor mod, and so I end up cleaning up that guy as he doesn't really know what he's doing. I find that most people who use the survivor mod um, really don't use it effectively. They die no matter whether they get ejected from the vehicle or not. But now, guys, I want to share with you um, some of the things. In fact, I'm going to back up the film here while I'm talking. Um, I want to share with you guys what I'm planning to create next with my videos. There are three different options that you guys can choose from here. And um, I want to present those options to you. Option A, would you like me to correct, create my next Halo 4 montage? Which will take a lot of time and um, will contain not necessarily as good clips as my previous montage, but would you like me to create that? Or B, would you like me to create a funny montage of funny clips and things that have happened to me in Halo 4? Some of them include my live reaction, which is funny stuff that happened during the game. Or C, would you like me to create a, a video about how to use the thruster pack effectively? Because I use it in almost every single loadout. People have asked me, how in the world do you use the thruster pack? You know, how, how do you do that? And so would you like me to create a video on actual gameplay clips? I have about 15 to 20 very short 5 to 10 second clips for it to run over with you guys. And um, that will really help you understand how to use the thruster pack, um, including my commentary and everything like that. So guys, post in the comments what video you'd like to create next. And um, after this little overkill happens here, um, I will see you on whatever I capture next or end up recording. Thank you for your feedback. I really do appreciate the support. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.